Hey everybody, I'm Caleb, I'm Sam, and I'm Will, and And we are Working Title! Woo! Guys, Death Note Day! Episode 20! Makeshift. Makeshift. Is this right? Is this 20? Yeah. No. For me it is. Dyslexic humor. Guys, last on, oh, we saw Aizawa leave the crew, Matsuda taking some initiative, pulled off a stunt, saved his life, he's good now. We're gonna see who is the Among Us imposter. But first, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. Are you hyped for the continuation of this arc? Are you hyped for the new OP that we're gonna be hopping into? Make sure you check out that video as well. That will be uh, in the link. And we'll see you in the video reaction. Punch it! Bow! There's supposed to be eight of them, but only seven are present. That must mean that they probably killed one of their members. In order to further the growth of the Yotsuba group and best serve its financial interests, who should we kill next? Uh, you see? It's just like I told you last week! This is not good at this rate. We can only be completely sure after those people they've named are dead. Oh, we will continue to monitor these meetings and take note of what they say. I, mean, I can't really stop it. And most importantly, so where the people they choose actually die. If we can confirm the connection between their plans and their deaths, then we'll definitely be able to catch Kira. How's he gonna do this? Uh, uh, oh. <clears throat> what is it? There's no need to yell in unison. I can't carry on knowing these people will die. That's just immoral. Right. Here it comes. <laughs> I don't know you're planning to catch Kira by letting these guys actually carry out these murders, but we can't let that happen. I need to reach one of these men and have them stop these murders. Please hold on. That will cause suspicion. It would mean the investigation caught up to them three days. Oh, that's so bad. However, we are going to need some solid proof. You gotta see how the killings take place. Yeah, who is actually exactly. killing this? If one of these seven men is in fact <clears throat> Kira, judging from their conversations so far, the one least likely to be Kira, but with the most influence, is... Nazikawa. <laughs> if you're going to make a call, please use this phone. It's set up so it can't be traced or tapped. Why? We can kill them and split their holdings. Is this an Eiji Nabikawa, head of the Yotsuba Group's marketing department? Hmm. Yes. And who is this? Listen carefully, but don't draw attention to yourself. I am L. I've placed cameras and wiretaps throughout that meeting room. Even as I speak, I'm recording footage of your entire meeting. He's been watching everything. If you are the not purple Kira, hue. or if you are not someone who can contact Kira directly, let's make a deal. A deal? I need you to delay the deaths of the LS president and Mr. Sensai by one month. If you complete your end of the deal and cooperate with our requests from now on, then you're at the end of Not just yours, but. If I win against Kira, you will be acquitted of all charges. If Kira wins, then you'll be free to carry on with your comfortable life. Just play along with both parties. Staying on the sidelines would be best. You're not in that position to lose anything regardless of who wins in the end. You would only be at a loss if I decided to arrest you right here and now. Damn it. He already knew what answer I would have given. Yeah. He hit the soul What's read. What's going on, Namikawa? Yeah. He knew his choice that? before he even said it. Uh, one of my men screwed up again. I'll have to fix it on Monday. That went well. Interesting. Yeah. You really are quite amazing, Light. Not only did you manage to delay the killings, but you also set up Namikawa as a potential mole for us. It sounded exactly like the sort of thing I would do, and you thought of it quicker than I did. Mm-hmm. Damn. At this rate, if I end up dying somehow, it's quite possible that you would be capable of succeeding me. What? Why That's are you being good. so morbid? <laughs> there isn't time What's wrong for with you? We only have a month to figure out Kira's identity and gather evidence against him to prove it. This is only the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Look how his face is yeah, drawn out. It looks so bad. It's like I drew that. <laughs> Kira, you actually might be more capable than I am. I honestly believe you could take this on. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to tell everyone what you're really thinking right now. <sighs> He thinks that if I am Kira, then there are two possibilities. Either I'm just pretending I'm not him and putting on an act or Kira's power 
has passed on from me to someone else, and I have no memory that I was ever Kira in the first place. He's trying to determine which, if either, is the truth. In other words, yeah. I wasn't being controlled at all. He thinks it was a plan to pass on the power and arrange for it to come back to me once I've been cleared. He already fucking figured it out. He figured out exactly what I've been thinking all this time. How? Once I steal <laughs> Smart title, kid. I will become Kira again. That's freaking crazy. Correct. Taking on the identity of L, having the power <clears throat> to control the police in every country while being Kira in secret. It's ideal. It's bad. And you're thinking I could do it. No, that I would do it. That's what you're saying, isn't it? But I'm yeah. like Yagami. If this is all an act and you are trying to steal my identity, there's no chance you'd be foolish enough to reveal your plan in front of everyone. Wouldn't you agree? Ryuzaki. Look at me. Do you think that I'm actually capable of becoming a murderer? Akira? Even after I help you catch him? Like Do I seem so like that kind of person to you? Because this is a while. I'm confused. Whoa. Yes, you do. Oh. I always thought so. Wow. He pegged him when no one else would. That's insane. <laughs> Got him. Okay, break it up. Once is enough. It was a draw, so let's just leave it as an even match, okay? Uh, yeah, you're right. This anyway, let's really focus fun. on catching the kid that's, that's in front so of us great. right now. That cross count is building up. You shouldn't have any complaints. I suppose so. We only have a month, so there's no time to get distracted. How do they <sighs> take a dump? Ryozaki. Or so impractical, too. We have plenty of footage from this meeting. Can we White use that as evidence like a against those seven men and prevent brother. the murders of other criminals? Oh, God, Can you're so perfect. Again? Unfortunately, no. But why? At the moment, we're not certain if Kira is among those seven men. If all they have is a tenuous connection with I've them, developed diabetes watching this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we have to be absolutely <laughs> sure that Kira is among them. He has that the highest no point in detaining ever. them now. Excuse me, but He's I think more. from now on I should go after Kira by myself. Huh? Why you can use these headquarters as you wish. Solo I'll mission be time here, but we will again. Be independently. Where are you going? To Amani's room. Sorry, I know you're on your father's side and all this, but I can't remove these handcuffs. I'm afraid you're going to have to come along with me. He's like, why? Light! I didn't know we were supposed to have a date! Oh, right, I should have known. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Uh, tell me, do you love light from the bottom of your heart? Huh? Uh, yeah! Of course I do! But you also worship Kira, don't you? Well, yeah. So then, uh, no. if you had to choose between light and Kira, who would you pick? What? That's obvious. Of course it's gonna be uh, light. Uh, I'm really grateful to Kira and want to meet him someday in person, but that's not true love. I definitely choose light. True love. Your precious light is planning to catch Kira. Isn't that right? Well, yes, of course I am. No! He says he wants to yeah. catch Kira. Now, what will you do? Well, if that's what light says, then I'm gonna support him no matter what. Loyal. Good girl. So if you were given the opportunity to work with Light on this investigation, would you take the offer? What? Were you Yeah, of course I would. Bro, she's not gonna help at all. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Where are you going with this? I'm planning to have Ivor pose as Ronaldo Coyle again. He'll tell the Yotsuba members that while he was investigating now, he discovered that Misa Amane might know who he is. He'll also tell them that Elle brought her in for questioning on suspicion that she was the second Kira. That part is talk so fast. Yeah, yeah. So the group <laughs> believes that Misa could be their lead to finding Elle. Yeah, right! We can't do that. Why not? This plan is too risky. Who knows what could happen to you? Oh, wow! Does that mean you're worried about me? Who cares? Yay! He cares! Yay! Wow. Something like this if it's for you, like. Listen, Misa. If they suspect that you might know who L really is, we don't know how far they'll be willing to go to get that information. No problem. I promise I won't say anything, even if they torture me. I can attest to that. But Kida can control his victim's actions before their death. There's a good chance he might try to manipulate her in revealing what she knows and then kill her. Also, if he does manage to kill L, he won't have any use for Misa. He'd kill her to keep her silent. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Light. Mm -hmm. You forget that if we win against Kira, Misa yeah. won't die. Besides, as long as we're handcuffed together, you and I share the same fate. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I die, so will you. <laughs> if that happens, Misa is the one who would grieve most of all. 
Either we lose and both die together, or we successfully catch Kira. Which is it? We can't oh, stay I, that. <laughs> I would never dream about living in a world without light. Yes, that would be dark. Cut it out! This is just crazy! That's, We're running that's out of fun. Fun. That's, that's a bad joke. joke. I hate Elsa so much of time, bro. I've turned to her because I know her bravery and love for you is boundless. Do you really mean it? He walks like an old man. Oh no, I think I've totally misunderstood you all this yeah. time. I He's even got bad problems. But you actually do understand how I feel, don't you? Yes. Misa is indisputably the most perfect and worthy woman for life. <laughs> Yay! You're oh, such a sweetie. Yeah. Thank you. You got a kiss. <laughs> I'm actually fall for you. Let's not go that far. But you could maybe be a friend of mine. Would that be okay? Yes. He's making friends. Can you get another friend? Yeah, of Riz. course. Any friend of Light's is a friend of mine as well. <laughs> Best friends for oh. Look at his face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Light's face. And of course, I would never I think of betraying that. any of my friends. With our powers combined, we'll arrest you. Get the mask. Unfortunately, huh? Light's taking a different investigation. He's smiling. Yay! He's, He's gonna die now. He has oh, two please. friends. He's too happy. That's not it either. I've been opposed to this investigation since the beginning. <laughs> it's too dangerous for her. Oh, Light. You're so sweet. They Thank you for worrying so about much. me. But please let me do this. I want to be useful to you somehow. If I can be useful, then maybe you'll love me even more. And besides, Domain expansion. You can use me and abuse me. I don't care. Just Light Yagami. Seven people is going to be challenging. I don't suppose you two have any ideas. Mogi, Matsuda. Alright, and episode 20, talk about the intro and outros being psychedelic and insane pace. I was like, this episode felt like it was no time for us to even like say anything over top mm. the characters in terms of just reaction. Because uh, there's just so many lines are being thrown at us between the, I just want to call them the Yatsuba, the, the, the Mile High Club in the tower, Yeah. and then Light and L just rattling off each other. Yeah, it was hard to... I didn't want to talk, because when I did, I was like, fuck, I missed something a little bit. Right True, there. and that's the problem, too. Like, all the, the conversation pieces build off of one another and continue on. And I loved Caleb's line when he, <laughs> you saw the dad like, oh, and Will's like, that's, I mean, that's how I'm feeling. I don't even know what the hell's <laughs> happening right now. Yeah, I have a complaint. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, um, a lot of talking, a lot of conversation, right? The music was too damn loud this that episode. Was, that right. was the like, biggest problem. You had notes of, like, Guitar and then like drum hits over dialogue that you couldn't hear. Thank you for like, that up. When, I, when Elle was talking, it was like, and he's like, and then he talks like this really low the entire time. Okay. And I'm like, what yeah. the fuck is this dude talking about? Very now? glad you said that. I was having beef. You're talking about when the three were together up yeah. in the upper apartment. It, it happened was like, and, and at the beginning, yeah, the computer, yeah. It, all through the episode, it feels like the music was just yeah. way too loud. I literally was thinking the same thing. I was like, dude, I can't even, and he's like mumbling his words, but you hear the, 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 brum, 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 brum. you hear the bass, like, the bass licks and the drum, the drum yeah. tapping. And it's hard because the, the voice actor, I like his choice, but he talks already so fast. I said that during the episode. It's it's hard to keep up with sometimes, and it's already so convoluted in the ways in which Ellen and Light talk and rattle off each other, like I was saying, because their playing field is so above my own understanding. <laughs> so, like, they're already, like, ten steps ahead of the game, so I want to keep up, even for a second watch-through. And it's hard. Yeah. And I feel like the show earlier in some episodes had this problem, but yeah. it was this was probably the worst yeah. it had ever been. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was not a fan of how that played out. Like, you just can't, I don't know, you gotta speak up a little bit. Or, or if you're not gonna speak up and there's gonna be background music, they just have to be turned up. Yeah. And I don't think that was, like, RTV specific or Netflix. It's probably no. just the show itself. Yeah, because we, we haven't had a problem with this show at least not this bad before, where it like overpowers the voices. Yeah, it would happen in like random moments in the episode, but I could tell that it would just be like, well, it's the instrument and how it's yeah. played at the moment is why it's so loud. It's very frustrating. Yeah, but um, and during a good moment too, like a little bonding experience with three of the most weirdest characters on screen: Light Yagami, Ellen, and uh, Misa. Misa. Money. Yeah. Well, that and I mean, Caleb and I said too. Like, I felt like it when he was giving his explanation of why he thinks Light Kira 
like light is Kira. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Still, so oh, like the master plan. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And yeah. the part where light was pretending to be L and rattling off. Like I understood what was happening and I could hear. It was just like, what? Like speak up. There was. I want to see if I can find it real quick. I know we always kind of joke about. Oh, the, the inconsistencies face. in the, the faces. faces. So Just find the funny I'll say, face. there was one that was so atro- Like, the first time I actually was, like, annoyed it's... by the atrocity, it was a shot of light, uh, L. Dog. A shot, shot from, of uh, no, L from a distance, and then they zoomed in. The problem was, he's already the center focus of that moment because people are supposed to watch him in that moment. So when they zoom in and you can see the complete difference, it's horrid. I mean, I, I also it doesn't matter because I can pull it up for you guys when you see it. Uh, but even like this, like, literally the moment you just pop, pause that. Look at like, look at like yeah. face. He went from looking like Light Yagami to looking yeah. like a random side character <laughs> to, to James Yagami. <laughs> yeah, James Yagami. <laughs> I and I can't even. I don't even know if I want to blame it on our TV quality just being no, so nice it's not, because it's the, it's the show. I, yeah, I do think it is the show because. Full Metal was around the same time, right? Uh, Full Metal came out like th- four... 2008, four. right? No, it Seven. came out like 10, 11, so... Oh, that's... Is that around the same four. time? No, this, so this said 2006. Okay, okay. So there's so. a couple of years on it, but even so, like, I, I can't really say there are moments in other anime where I'm like looking at background characters. I mean, there's a lot, though. This is a lot of the time for the the bad It happens characters. all the time. Like in it's, my hero, I've noticed it happen a lot when I've been watching through it. Like yeah. this current season, even in the current season, I'm like that character looks like shit in the background. And yeah. I can tell who it's supposed to be, but it's to save time. I think it's money. yeah. I think it's harder with this show though because it's a lot they of still do, shots. There's not do a lot of action like, sequences. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like the money gets blown on the intro, like the intros and outros yeah. for how crazy they are compared yeah. to these. And I know like the designs are a, like a bit wild. You have a bunch of TV and like the, I'd say the backgrounds are very complex in the drawings, but characters are a little rough looking sometimes and it can take you out of the moment. Yeah. But as for the story, we played more Among Us. Uh, do you guys have any more Feelings as to who you think it could be. I, don't, I know it not, might not be like a big thing or a draw of interest as to who exactly is the key, the, the Kira of the the club, the Mile High Club. Um, I know Will was saying bald man or long haired guy that they actually talked to today. Yeah. Um, the one they called out, which would be very interesting if he is the mole for the group, but also the Kira of the group. Yeah, I would feel like it would probably not be him, just because in his own inner monologue, he said, well, Kira's gonna kill me if yeah. I if they find out I'm working with them, so I would say it's definitely not the long-haired guy at this point. I also I always love the hues of the dark red and blues for Light and L, and I remember one of our earlier videos, Caleb had mentioned something he really likes in shows, or at least in, like, visual diagrams the chaotic evil yeah. lawful good like the different versions of that but also normally it's done with like a color scale so you could say that based off where they fall is an indication of that too and i i also like that a couple episodes ago i think it was number 15 we got a that one of those versions for misa and it was a weird like blue hue but like a shade of blue and i i just wonder if there is any purpose behind that like do the writers are the writers implying that even though she's in love with Kira, there might be more of a, a cohesion between her and L in how they see things in the world? I know that sounds crazy because, you know, it's Misa. But then we have, like, the purple version today, so we see a mix between, like, the lawful and chaos or something like that, or evil and good. Like, is he does he fall in between? Or is it just a visual, and just for the fun of it? Like, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know if the show ever cared to go that in-depth with those choices, or they just wanted them to look separate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like initially it might have been intentional, but then sometimes with things happening, I'm like, wait, maybe not, you know. So yeah, yeah. it's hard to tell. Yeah. But, um, but with the who's the new Kira, I'm still leaning towards the bald guy or the guy with the bug eyes that they showed. They flat When they were doing the whole talk, at one point when he mentioned about putting it off a week, there was one character that flashed... No, it would, I don't think he had glasses on. Okay. 
Uh, like the guy that was like, that was like mean just, mugging him a bit. He was just like, I can be sorry. No, you're. I, I don't. I because I don't know what he looked like. I just saw that he had bug eyes. It was right after the call ended, he, yeah. he gave him crazy eyes. After he was like, I yeah. think we should wait a month. And the dude was like, Huh? Yeah. No way. That's why I'm like. See, I thought. See, I thought it was actually the Kira guy, which I think it would be fun because yeah, it looks it was just so light, weird. light. And he's having what you would call a light moment yeah. when things are not going his way. I think it's this guy. Sorry for interrupting. Right yeah, this guy. But that's not the guy that looks like light, because the guy that looks like light wears glasses. Yeah, this guy right here. Uh, yeah, he, right, ga- right. he gave a really weird look to him. That's why... He's got that Amish cut. Yeah. That's why I feel like it's either him or the bald guy. The rest, okay. yeah. Cause, and then this is... Oh, that's that's light. Okay. That's light right there. Light 2. Or, yeah, light 2.0. It'd be great if they showed, um, like, name templates, because our, three of the characters in Matsuda, well, Matsuda being one of them, they all pointed and said different names simultaneously, oh, yeah. L, Light, and Matsuda. It's like, I don't even know who they're... Th- I want to know who they're sussing out. Yeah. Or, and why. Like, what do they get from these guys that makes them feel a certain way? Yeah. I do like Baldy. I don't even think their Kira's in the room. Okay, so an outside factor. I think they're all trying to suss each other out, but it's not even any. Yeah, the the other. real the real uh, play is that that Kira watches just like Light is right. Yeah, like that's this. or like there's like a yeah, second yeah, monitor right yeah. next to the other monitor, yeah. <laughs> or like a camera feed. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then. But yeah, so basically they made a deal to, you know. You know, basically screw the black haired guy. So, you know, he could uh, screw him so he could help them and give them a month to figure out who, who is the real Kira at this point. Um, and, you know, these guys still are like, well, we should just arrest them all because this is proof enough. But that, that's where we get into Light or Al still believing that the real we need to find the real Kira. And then, of course, his question of light sussing out or will you take on the moniker of L yeah. and are you really Kira at this point or are you playing an act or were you always were you Kira that doesn't remember at this point and have you set yourself up in a way that you can eventually come back to taking the mantle I that's he, I'm like how the fuck would you have figured that out he winter soldiered himself well <laughs> it's also just wild to think that they have to play off of these like pseudo ideas like, that's most of this has been suit ideas. I really, but, but it's so crazy that that's like enough for them to have. That's why I said the other day when we were all in prison, he had his father and the girlfriend and all of them in prison. I'm like this has to be such a mood killer for them. The majority of this investigation, because you're literally working off of theoreticals, which I guess. Well, I mean, even uh, even today they said like. Light was like, oh my god, so they really, like, they're planning times, style of death to make it seem accidental, like, and natural cause. Like, this is proof that, of what we have assumed, because they haven't yeah. even confirmed from the how beginning it's how it's done. So, yeah. And it's this, but it's the same thing, too. Like, you, at the end of the day, they're right in saying, like, we have to kind of maybe let the deaths happen, because how the hell else are we going to know the hand-on experience and how this happens? Yeah. Because the, the meeting's not enough. Day one when Kira became like a thing in the Aether, like ten people came up and they were like, oh, I'm Kira, here's why. And it was like, well, this isn't enough. Yeah. So like, what what is enough for these people? Yeah. Um, and it's just the most unsatisfying form of like crime solving because you have to, it's, like, like I said, there's no satisfaction at the end of the day. How do you, how do you feel at the end that you, you found the right one? How can you be sure if you're dealing with supernatural things? Yeah. So it's such a, a buzz killer, especially, I'm sure, for someone like L and now Light, who yeah. want to solve this and figure it out. Now, what I really want to know is, what was the name of the other Shinigami? Uh, Rem. 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 Did Light leave specific instructions, like, longer than just, like, hey use these guys go start killing is Rem doing this kind of like on her own or did Light just kind of assume that this will play out in this way you know what I mean because sure. because Light has never really been able to get too much of a one up on L because every instance where he thought he got the got ahead he really just made L more sure or L would trick him you know what I mean like throughout the entire show even like Light's mini victories it was like, yeah, you're kind of 
proving you're innocent, but I still have a feeling it's you because now it's, you know, things are narrowing to you. Yeah. So I just want to know what was, what was Kira's real plan at this point? Because, I mean, how, how, did he really, like, I mean, all of this, how this is all playing out, I'm, I, I just want to know what he thought of before he gave up the Death Note, you know? Or was, what he thought it was yeah. going to play out. It was kind of desperate, though, too. Like, uh, he, he, they, they, well, they Misa, he was cornered. Yeah, me, he was cornered, Misa was captured, and uh, Rem, like when Rem talked to Light and t- filled him in that Misa got captured, she said she took the memories away because that would ensure the safest outcome for her because if she genuinely gives a testimony that seems like <clears throat> she was manipulated, well then that might be at least a starting point because Misa might not be a good liar. And like we talked about, Light can at least lie to the general public or his friends, but his lies don't convince the the psychoanalytic oh, yeah. uh, talents of um, L. So, and a lot of it kind of has to do with like what you're talking about. Like, I think what Light is hoping for is that now being back in his normal form without the the corrupt side of him, he will hopefully be able to get back the Death Note by by default by just helping L solve the case. But even then. It's like, but it's also yeah. You're hoping that that's how it turns out. Yeah, you're hoping that <clears throat> you know d- the knowledge all returns. You know what I mean when yeah. he gets the death note back. Right. Is he, does he learn L's true name by that point? Because all the, like ultimately he could have won all this if he just figured out if he just got the Shinigami eyes. And he just wiped... I mean, it would suck. He would, have, he would have had to do it to his dad, too. But gotten rid of his dad, L, and the rest of these people, and Watery. And then it would have been done. There would have been no more... You know, so, there would, we wouldn't have needed to go through all of this. So even if he does get the Death Note back, he has to learn L's name. Yeah. And get him to die in a convincing way that doesn't make... You know, the rest of these cops suspicious. Now, granted, luckily, the way it played out... The rest of law enforcement are afraid of Kira and the Yatsuba group, so they are deciding to no longer investigate. So even if, like, even if his dad figures out that his son is Kira, who knows if anyone will actually do anything about it, unless he just goes and does like what we saw in the car scene, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's. I just I wish I hope that when he does come back eventually, we get like an explanation as to what he had planned yeah. just because we were left in the dark on it and uh we'll have to see yeah we'll, we'll have to see I, I will say the episode's playing right now and it reminded me my favorite part of the episode is L Misa always try, no, L oh. trying to always get away from his crew oh, yeah. I love his like you guys can go do this thing because oh, yeah. I just feel like he always is so much better when he's on his own like he goes like when he first encountered L, uh, light during graduation when he made the effort to like confront him with the three cell phones like he just excels when he's alone he's like so you guys can go to this thing I'm gonna go to this thing oh sorry light I guess you're gonna have to also come with me because I just want the two geniuses together yeah <laughs> like you just need my like he needs his things you know it's that yeah. OCD thing again like I, I don't do this because I want to I do it because I need to yeah um, I couldn't live without a light it would be and he's like yep that would be pretty be dark pretty dark, pretty dark. What an idiot. That made me mad. That's yeah. a dad joke. That was <laughs> my my least favorite dad joke. Yeah. And um, he's got another friend, Misa. He's up to two now. Yeah. yeah. So happy for That's him. That's good. So they've got Misa on board because yeah. she loves Light more than she loves Kira. They can use her because she's mm-hmm. in, got you know an in with the Yatsuba group. And, you know... They're really going to dig deep to try and figure out who Kira is at this point. Honestly, one thing that should happen is Light needs to find a way to make sure she doesn't get her memories back. Yeah. It's probably best if she stays ignorant forever because it's Misa. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. is it, You know, one thing I kind of was curious about with this show, too, is that even though Elle is so logical and analytical and almost seems like a realist he doesn't really discount like in other shows i feel like the guy that's like that anything that would be supernatural they would write off 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, you watch Sherlock Holmes yeah, sure. type of show. The guy is raising people from the dead. He's like, that's not a thing. Like, we have to figure out what's the real truth. But, like, in this, that is the real thing. Like, the magic yeah. is real in this world. And he doesn't write it off, which is the one thing that's, like, scary. So if, like, you know, what if Misa runs into Rem? And she's like, I saw a demon ghost thing. And he's going to be like, show all me. right, we got to go back. I don't show see it. Me. Why do you see it? Why don't I see it? Well, it's not even going to be that. He's going to be like, okay, clearly she's been in contact with something that allows her to see it, and I haven't. But that's that's the crazy thing, too, because, like I was saying, like, Elle is doing this on a kind of a gamble, it seems. So who's to say that he doesn't grab the Death Note first, or someone else? Hurt his father, or Mazda? Oh, yeah, Like, anyone, if at the crime scene, can go and find, like, the, the, the book... And then it's just a game changer, you know? Yeah. And then what? Well, then so many other options become available as to how this is run. And then, and then, then light, just to just funnel off that, then light can still funnel with the idea of this isn't me, it's outside forces. Yeah. Scapegoats. So, um, the possibilities are endless once we get into that realm. We'll just have to see if we even get to that realm. <laughs> if, if the opportunity is even presented to these guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, fun episode. As well, they're holding look hands. Look at his face, bro. As they're holding they're, hands. That's the only good bad one. Yeah, just good. like general annoyance, good but bad. really poorly drawn. Yeah. Can't wait about to die. Guys, we love y'all. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Tell us your favorite moment about this episode, or maybe the number of the episode you're looking forward to coming up. We'll see you in the next reaction. Love you guys. Punch it. Pow! Breaking the Breaking the world